Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you may be. Welcome to a new video on the Must Love Don YouTube channel. Hi to those of you who don't know me, my name is CJ aka Must Love Don and to those of you who do know me and haven't seen a video for a very very long time on this channel, welcome back. I would like to thank all of you for joining me and I hope that the video today is going to provide some fun entertainment for you guys to watch. I thought I would do something a little bit different on this channel. For about six or seven months now, I've been doing live streams on YouTube and Twitch. And on in those live streams, we play cozy games. We play things like Stardew Valley, Minecraft, Animal Crossing, anything that's cozy, we like to play in. So I thought on this channel, I will give you some co gaming content that I would not normally play on stream. And today I thought I would start with Assetto Corsa. Uh, this is a game that was gifted to me about a week ago and literally for the first time today is the first time I've been playing this game. I'm going to be steering the cars with a keyboard so that's fun. And I'll explain some other challenges that I face while playing this game as we're driving some cars. I thought I would do some practice runs, we're in the practice mode at this moment. And I figured we would choose three different cars to drive and see which one I can get around the track the fastest. I am not very good at driving cars. I know nothing about cars whatsoever. The only thing that matters to me when I look at a car is if it looks cool, if it's cute, and if it's colourful. Uh, it's got to look cute, cool, and the colours are going to be good. For the rest, I know nothing about specs. I know nothing about mechanics. If you want to talk cars and in-depth detail about cars, go do that with someone else, not me. <laughs> I'm not here for the tech and the specs. I will read the specs to you that pop up on these cars. But um, I'm not here for that specifically. I'm here just to have fun trying to get them around the track. Because right now, that's all I'm trying to practice. Okay, for the first car, we're going to drive a Lotus 980. And I don't understand much about these specs down here at all. These are tech specs. The weight is 523 kilo. I'm guessing the lighter the car, the faster it goes around the track. Uh, the power is 1000 plus bhp. I'm guess that's something to do with horsepower. Uh, the torque is 800 plus nm. The top speed is 330 kilometers per hour. Per hour, that's fast. I understand that part. Uh, <laughs> acceleration is ooh, uh, doesn't say anything about the acceleration and I don't see anything about the weight here either so that's interesting I've already picked a color that I like I need some contrast when playing games so the color of the car kind of matters uh, just for enabling me to play at this moment so let's go hit the flags over here so that we can drive this car and see how fast we can get it around the track and place our bets on whether or not I can keep it on the track because I'm definitely not very good at this game. I think it would be easier to steer with a controller. But I need to see if I can get my hands on an Xbox controller to do this. I've not been playing on Steam for very long at all either. So, um, yeah. It's, it's, it's fun and it's a thing. And this engine sounds really, really smooth. Okay, let's see. One lap. And see if I can keep the car on the track. And it's very light, so I'm going to assume it's very bouncy. Um, this corner, we don't, ooh, we don't want to go upside down against the barrier. I'm already, I've already taken my wheels off the track, which is always fun. But um, like I said, the really the aspect of the game is to try and keep the car as much as possible on the track and get around the track one lap of the track as fast as possible uh for those of you who don't know i am legally blind uh i do have some usable vision but not very much of it i see for about five percent which means i see colors shapes large shapes very large details and not much of anything else i don't recognize faces when people walk into a room uh, i cannot read i'm gonna have to go into reverse here i cannot read normal print in a book um so playing games is very challenging i rely on the colors for contrast this is why i usually play cozy games because the cozy games have the best kind of contrast when it comes to colors 
This is a little harder because it looks more realistic. And I prefer the games that have less detail and look less realistic. I can see the contrast between the grass and the track right now. Um, I see the sun reflecting off the track at the moment. And I see like there are barriers to the sides. Maybe the hills, maybe the barriers. I'm not quite sure what they are. But uh, I see something to the side. And I saw myself heading for that barrier right there. So I do see some things that are happening. But it's mainly due to the colours. And mainly due to the fact that I've played this game several times already this morning before recording this video. I'm not going in totally uh, unknowledgeable. I do have the idea that I'm going the wrong way right now. Let's see if I can fix that. So when I play my video games, I rely on those colours. I also rely on the sounds. That gives me a very good indi indication of where I am in most games and what's happening. Uh, when I'm playing with a controller, I also rely on haptic feedback. I'm very, very good at playing Mario Kart because Mario Kart uh, provides haptic feedback when you go off the track. I'm not getting that with this right now because I'm trying to steer the car with a keyboard. So that's fun. So my tricks are listening to the engine and trying to figure out purely by the sounds of the engine when I am and when I'm not supposed to take my finger off the acceleration button. And then when the engine doesn't rev anymore, I know it's because I crashed into a barrier. <laughs> and that's about all I can do with this game so far, is listen to the engine and try and learn more about it so that I can drive the car and use the contrast of the track and the grass to try and figure out which directions I'm supposed to be going. That sounded like a barrier. That was a very hard bump. Sounds like I'm not on the track again. And somewhere there are checkpoints which I have been able to see so far because I can see the black. Um, it probably isn't black, but it looks black to me. The black thing coming up above the car when I get close enough to it. Oh, that, oh, skiddy. Very skiddy. This is a very bouncy car, guys. I think one of the reasons why I started streaming... Oh, this looks like the end of the lap. Wait a moment. Let's see if we can stop. And get our bottoms back to the pit. Back to pits. How fast did this car go? It is, uh, for my reference... Uh, what kind of car was it again? <laughs> uh, it was a car. Oh, Lot Lotus 980. And we made it around the lap in 4 minutes and 7 seconds. Okay, let's go ahead and pick the next car. Uh, we need to get out of this menu. Oh, the sound of the engine running is very annoying when the car's not moving. <laughs> okay, new pe is that a new personal best? New personal best. Lotus 9AT is on for it. Uh, 4 minutes and 7 seconds. Okie dokie. Um, I have uh, help to read this by having... It mirrored on another screen that has a magnifier turned on so uh, that's that's how i'm reading this because normal normal print although i must say this print looking at the normal screen is pretty bold also but if i want to read it uh, quite enough if i squint we try not to we're trying not to squint though we don't want headaches so four minutes and seven seconds for the lotus let's go and choose another car and i am going to choose is this the mercedes uh, yeah, Mercedes SLS AMG GT3. Let's go ahead and pick this car. And see how fast I can get around the track with it. Uh, the flags. The flag, guys, the flags. There we go. The flags, the flags. That's how we get to drive around the car. As I was trying to explain to you before, one of the reasons why I think I started streaming in the f first place is I wanted to promote awareness for the visually impaired commu gaming community because people don't know that that exists or uh, people that are not visually impaired often don't know that that exists and there is a whole gaming community uh, full of blind and visually impaired people and we do play games. I will tell you a funny story while I'm trying to keep this car on the track. I was 16 years old, well I was a little bit younger, maybe 15 or 14 years old, and we had a youth club after school. Uh, it was once a month on a, I think it was on a Thursday evening, we had a youth club. 
and we had a Sega Mega Drive at the youth club. I think it was a Sega Mega Drive. It was some kind of gaming system anyway. I'm going to say it was a Sega Mega Drive where we could play FIFA football. And I said to my best friend at the time, who was totally blind, let's have a game of football. Because he was like super into football, uh, loved to play, knew everything about the teams, but also loved to play on the, not only in like real life with a, a ball with a bell in it so that he could hear the ball and play. We did a lot of blind five-a-side football in our, in our time at school. But uh, he loved to play on the on the Mega Drive also. So, okay, let's play together a game of football. He could not see. At this time, I could see double the amount that I can see now. So I had, or at least I thought I had the advantage over him. And I thought I was going to win this, this, this football match fair and square. Uh, little did I know that totally blind people... Having had much practice and experience, a very, very good at playing video games, and he beat me. So it's um, it's a good example of how how blind and visually impaired people can play computer games and can win. I thought I had the advantage because I thought I could say, I thought I could cheat him. Yeah, I was fourteen. Come on, I can be a little bit more, te a little bit mean as a teenager, right, guys? But I uh, know he beat me. That's a very good example of um, how good we can be at video games. Admittedly, I am not here for to impress you with my driving skills right now. I'm here to entertain you guys and provide you with some content that you can watch. I mean, maybe you're just having it as background noise while you're, I don't know. You, you're certainly not at school uh, right now doing any assignments because it's summer vacation. I need to go in reverse. Because I'm a little stuck. But I don't know. Maybe I'm background noise while you're cleaning. Or blogging. Or chatting in Discord. I don't know. Or maybe you're really, really interested in how badly I can drive cars. L thankfully, this is not real life, guys. <laughs> that would be bad. Oh, gosh. This car is, is out of control. Um, okay. Maybe my driving is just out of control. Who knows? Who knows? I think we're almost there. Actually, I have no idea. I know there's a white barrier that appears on the left-hand side when I'm almost at the end of the lap. Ah, there it is. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. Is this going to do better than 4 minutes and 7 seconds? And uh, let's slow it down. Let's slow it down. Let's go back to the pits and see if it beat the Lotus. The uh, SLS AMG GT3 got around the track with my terrible driving skills in 3 minutes and 24 seconds. Wow. That's quite impressive because I really struggled to keep that car going straight. But okay. We got there and we beat the lo we beat the Lotus. I beat the Lotus with that. I expected, but I don't didn't have much control of the Lotus because it was light and it was bouncy and it was faster. I'm guessing that slower cars are easier for me to drive. Uh, let's get out of here and we'll pick one more car to race and see if we can beat that three minute. What is it? Three minutes twenty three minutes twenty four seconds. So that was the uh, Mercedes. The, the Mercedes beat the Lotus. Okay. Of course, that could have something to do with specs, but because I don't understand a lot about specs, I don't know. I'm guessing it's something to do with the fact that uh, it was a little bit easier con to control, even though I had a lot of trouble staying on the track with that. Uh, let's go with... No, we went there. Uh, uh, we've been there. <laughs> I don't recognise a lot of the icons either, so I'm not sure... Not sure which, um, was it the Nissan I drove before? No, I'm looking for a specific car that I drove before I knew, felt comfortable driving. Uh, I've got a feeling it was a Toyota. I don't think this is the Toyota logo, is it? Uh, no, that's the Mazda. Um, don't know what I'm doing. Or was it the McLaren? Oh no, it was the McLaren. I was comfortable driving before. Okay, let's go with this McLaren for the last car. The McLaren MP4 120 GT3. 
and it's already a sexy colour. Like I said to you before, all that matters to me is cuteness and colours. I'm hopeless. I'm really hopeless. I hope you don't, guys don't think I'm ignorant. I'm literally doing this for entertainment purposes. And I'm sorry if I offend, I'm offending anyone who's a super big fan of racing. I don't love to watch... I need to click on these flags. I don't love to watch racing on TV, but playing racing games on uh, on a PC or any type of console is, is something I find really chill. So I'm enjoying it f for that aspect. I'm not big into racing and I'm not big into Formula 1, so I'm not here to offend anybody. We're just here having fun and having a good time, seeing how crappy or how good my driving may be. Uh, I need to click this back on up here. And let's go. Let's see how fast I can get around the track with the McLaren. What were we beating? Three, trying to beat 3 minutes 24. I must say, I oh, this is ooh, this is bouncy. This is getting dangerous. That was more out of control than I intended. One of the tricks to... Um, oh, tur turbo? Turbo? I don't know what's happening here. One of the tricks to um, getting control of the car is listening to the engine and trying to take my finger off the acceleration button at the correct time. I'm clearly not good at that yet because if I was I would stay on the track more. But practice makes perfect, right guys? This McLaren has a really rather large... I don't know what you call that at the back of the car. I did learn that the other day because the friend I was watching on their live stream um, was explaining that to us. But I've been to sleep since then so I can't remember what the thing is. It's something to do with air. Something to do with how the, uh, the car uses air to get along. I know that much. <laughs> I sound really ignorant. I'm so sorry, guys. Definitely not here to offend anyone. It's just not my sport. And everybody has their own types of sport, and that's okay. My actual sport is more soccer or football. But of course the Netherlands didn't win their football match the other day, so that was the end of watching football for me. Although, I'm guessing that you can hear my accent is English. So you're probably wondering why are you not supporting England? Well, I live in the Netherlands, so I figured it's logical and probably sensible to support the country I live in. Although England, England against Spain, uh, I'm not quite sure I like their chances, but I hope they win. It's quite impressive to see how far they've gotten. Go into reverse. Come on, reverse the car. Yep, now go forwards. Yeah, I hope they win. I think they've had to work pretty hard to get why they were. I haven't seen England get to a final of any championship before. I mean, I'm sure they have. But... Oh, no. you got to go in the correct direction. I'm starting to think that the Mercedes is going to be the car that, did, that I did the best with. Oh, I don't know. Looking for the white barrier. There it is. There it is. There it is. Come on. We need the checkpoint. 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 Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's see how well we did. That seemed to go pretty fast, actually. Maybe the McLaren was better than the Mercedes. Oh. Mercedes. Uh, back to the pits. Let's see. The McLaren. Oh, 3 minutes 18. I beat it by... 20 I beat it by six seconds <laughs> that is cool okay and the, Mc the McLaren does feel like the most comfortable car for me to drive so I I'm not weirded out by that I'm good with that three minutes 18 considering this is the first time today that I've played this game uh, I mean, I have been practicing because I played a little bit this morning. Hi, by the way. I played a little bit this morning before um, recording this, so I have had some practice. Considering this is the first time I've played this game, it's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. I like the game very much. 
okay it's time for me to pull it there and end the video i hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as i enjoyed playing as i said it was purely for entertainment purposes i'm not here to offend anybody i don't know i'm bad at driving i'm not here to show off my skills i'm just here to provide entertainment and have a little bit of fun while doing so so i hope you enjoyed it i certainly enjoyed it uh until next time guys thanks for watching and if you can't be good be careful bye guys